Howdy folks, Kirk and Dan here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today I'm going to show you guys how to avoid something like this. This is a parapet, it's a cap. Uh, many houses have these caps and these caps usually when they're first built will last easily 50 to 60 years. After that what happens? The sun bakes it and if you get a crack on it because the wood expands when it bakes it, water goes in there, rainwater. Rainwater sets and eventually it will deteriorate the membrane. Whatever membrane you got, if it's two layers of paper, whatever membrane, it will deteriorate in time. But yet there's a simple way to keep on maintenance with this and have it last hundreds of years. So what they've done here in the past is, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, well, you can do that. You can spray styrofoam in here and once it mushrooms, you cut it off and then put it back together. What they did also was they put a fiberglass mesh tape Fiberglass mesh tape, guys, is for a brown coat when you're getting ready to do your color coat. You put it over your brown coat and those cracks are not supposed to reappear. When you have a crack this big, that's structural. Uh, fiberglass mesh tape will do nothing except rebust. What we're going to do is I have a caulking, which is sick of flags. This stuff here is incredibly strong. We're going to tear this all apart, and I already started tearing it apart. And what they did is they... They stuck that styrofoam in there, and again, it expands and they cut it off. Then they put on an acrylic finish. An acrylic finish is, um, we're, we're prepared to do this too. If, it, if it's brittle like this, it's not really a quality acrylic finish. A quality acrylic finish should flex uh, more. Anyway, so we're gonna break this out, and we're going to put it back together, and I'll show you how we do that to match this finish here. But I'll show you how to avoid that. That's much more important than me showing you how to put this back together uh, up here yeah now dan's on this uh, cell phone where this is the second time i've using this cell phone listen hollow solid hollow so we got to remove this and we're going to remove all this loose stuff it's going to create a lot of dust we don't want the dust on the camera so and i don't want to inhale it so i'm going to wet this but i'll show you how to avoid that guys there's a lot of types of coffee you got more flex which is basically rubber and you got Sycoflex, which is even stronger than this. Now, if you have cracks, guys, this, you see this crack right here? What we did is we took a wire brush and we cleaned it out because nothing adheres to a dusty surface. Nothing. Uh, dust, dirt, moss, nothing adheres to it. Not even the strongest caulking. So you get your caulking in that hole. And push your hand down. Now, this is the magic glove, guys. Put your hand up, just go over it and over it. You don't even have to look down, look the other way, but just get it in there deep, get it in there deep. Now you paint that, and every five years, it depends on the house, every two years, every 10 years, when it recracks, put some caulk in it. It doesn't really matter, the, the brand. Get an exterior caulk in that says it will last at least 60 years, or get more flex. This actually uh, says it even stretches like rubber, and it really does. And the Sycoplex is even stronger than this, but that is not water soluble. Meaning, once you get it on you, it's on you forever. It's like luggage, man. It never, never goes away. Anyway, well, I'm gonna tear this apart. I'll show you how we put it back together. But this is all important. You'll never have to redo this if you just keep all your cracks caulked, whether they're on parapets, window sills, walls. Keep them caulked, guys. You won't have to go through this. All right, guys. I'll show you the quick fix on this. What I did is I took. A couple tubes of Sycoflex, polyurethane, caulking, and I put it in here. How strong is Sycoflex? Put three drops on two bricks, and they're porous bricks. It's very difficult to seal them unless you're using a polybond. They won't come apart, and I can go into why they won't come apart. But anyway, this flexes now. If I were to just put cement in this right here, the first minute it starts to flex and this is going to flex. It's a hundred year old house or on a big mountain and it flexes. Uh, so what we did is we filled that up with the polyurethane Sycoflex coffee. Now that'll flex and when it's hard, it'll, I mean, nothing's gonna hold a hundred ton building together, but it'll do much better than the fiber mesh tape. So now all I'm gonna do is apply the same acrylic finish that they had. There are like three really, really good acrylic products. I like Drive It, Stucco Flex, BMI, Carson. Anyway, now this, I'm just gonna fill it up. 
How many different ways, guys, can I do this? Uh, I can think of about 20 different ways. There are many ways to skin a cat, guys. Now, when this dries, of course, it's going to be like a little... I can see a tint of green in here. Because okay. they're going to paint the entire top. And if they want this to last a thousand years, put a metal cap on it. And some of you might say, well, why not tear the whole wall off? When I was first here, I suggested that she almost had me arrested. So all we're doing is the quick fix, guys. And how long will this last? I assume it will last about another 20 years. I won't even be here. Anyway, my name is Kirk Dan on the camera. We thank you guys for watching. And I'm curious how this is going to come out with this uh, cell phone he's using. We thank you again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. All right, folks, as always, thank you for watching another Giordano Stucco video. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe so we can keep making them. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one.